Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing an instant protein and fiber rich breakfast recipe made without rice, wheat or maida. And it takes just under 15 minutes to make this super healthy, filling, gluten-free breakfast to make on those busy mornings. Ideal to include in your weight loss journey. So let's get started with the recipe. Onto a sieve, I'm adding in one cup of Jawar Poha. Jawar, also known as sorghum, is a highly nutritious millet. This is sprouted Jawar flakes or flattened Jawar. It helps to balance blood sugar levels, aids in good digestion, and it's a good source of protein. Jawar is rich in fiber and the high fiber helps to keep you feel fuller for a longer time. Hence, it is ideal to include in weight loss and weight management. It's also a good source of iron and being a complex carbohydrate, Jawar gets digested slowly, hence ideal for those with health issues like diabetes, PCOS and thyroid. Always try to include millets in your diet for your better health. I'm sprinkling in some water over the Jawar flakes. And with my hand, I'm lightly giving it a mix. This process is to allow the Jawar flakes to get softened. So I'm going to keep this aside while I get the other ingredients ready. Allowing it to rest for about 5 minutes would be ideal. I'm heating my kadai with 2 teaspoons wood pressed groundnut oil. Once the oil is heated, I'm adding in 1 teaspoon mustard seeds. Once the mustard seed starts to splutter, I'm adding in 1 third teaspoon jeera, also known as cumin seeds. And once the jeera splutters, I'm adding in one whole Kashmiri chili. I'm just breaking the chili into two and adding in some fresh curry leaves. 1 fourth inch ginger, finely sliced. Two green chilies, slit. And I'm giving it a good stir. Remember the flame is on the lowest. Into this I'm adding in one cup of moong dal sprouts. I have already shared how to make moong sprouts. Links will be updated below this video in the description box. Please do check it out. Pink Himalayan salt as needed. Half teaspoon turmeric powder and give it all a good mix. Sprinkle in little water and cover and allow the sprouts to get lightly cooked on low flame. About a minute later, open the lid and give it a good stir. Okay, now the Jawar flakes has softened really well. You can see that the flakes are not only softened, but they're also not sticking to each other. See how perfect the Jawar flakes has become. I'm adding the Jawar flakes into the kadai. Add in freshly ground black pepper powder, about one third teaspoon and give it a good mix. Sprinkle in little bit of water, cover and allow the Jawar flakes to get cooked. It should get done in about a minute. About a minute later, open the lid, give it a good stir. The Jawar flakes are nicely cooked. Sprinkle some coriander leaves, turn off the flame, squeeze in half a lemon, give it a good mix. And my quick and easy healthy Jawar sprouts poha is ready to serve. You can see how perfectly the poha is. It is free flowing and non-sticky. I'm going to transfer this to a bowl. So guys do try this healthy Jawar poha and let me know in the comments how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time take care. Bye bye.